so far we have discussed um, on the history of the english language there we have talked about the origin of english and then i talked about the the evolution of the english from old english to modern english then i then we i we discussed um, the influences scandinavian influence french influence latin influence and uh, we will also uh, we discussed uh, semantic transfer means the change of meaning of the words from the earlier one to the modern present one now we are going to deal with another new topic which is called word formation that means how the words are formed in the language for the for the increase of the vocabulary because you every time you need new words because the society is changing and you see that uh, when the covid has come up covid 19 at the same time you find the new words are coming up because um, we are no idea about those uh, the different kinds of uh, protection mechanisms we are using and for that new words are coming up so uh, i i will i will try to uh, address the that uh, that the topic and the word formation and uh, there are various wo- ways of word formation in every, uh, which is used by uh, each and every language of the, of the world in your language also you will find that uh, bangla also bangla or any other language whatever may be your mother tongue they also try to uh, increase increase the number of vocabularies according to the need of the time uh, because the uh, you the society is changing society is evolving earlier we did not need we did not need the words relating to science and technology or the different kinds of relations and uh, now we need the words so uh, there are various types of various kinds of word formation now first one we will discuss that call is known as first one is affixation affixation means now the word affixation that means you are attaching affixes and what is affixes suffixes and prefixes and infixes these are called basically there are uh, bangla is called uh, sanskrit is called uposargo anusargo and um, in you uh, know uh, there's in some languages also they use uh, infix i will i will discuss later on now the prefix and suffix and uh, we'll look at look at that one the uh, uh, prefix means pre means before and affix after after the word that means before the word if you add then it's a prefixation and then after the word is a suffixation and now in in combine the combined term is affixation now the point is that uh, the moment you attach the affixes there are different uh, there are two types of word formation takes place one is called derivation other is called inflection but you don't need too much at this time but still i'm mentioning those term derivation and inflex inflection in i n f l e c t i n inflection derivation derive that means you are creating new words entirely new words but in inflection what happens is inflections you are attaching suffixes specifically uh, affixes for the need of the sentence for the need of the sentence but gradually you remember this one for the need of the sentence suppose Uh, when you are using the word in a singular or plural when you are using the word in a tense marked when you are using it as a case and number gender these are basically uh, basically called inflections in in inflection the meaning of the word does not change and the inflections are attached only for the need of the sentence sentence in needs that's why so uh, number uh, basically remember the number gender Uh, case and tense these are basically inflections just remember this one and derivation means you are creating new words from noun to adjective adjective to noun or the noun verb to noun these are the forms when your category changes or it may not be may not change the category but the meaning changes so this is basically derivation that's all and now uh, we will talk about that one how in uh, fixation basically we'll look at the one very in- interesting point is that I talked about that one in, a, in during when I when I was discussing uh, uh, infl- influences that uh, there are affixes uh, uh, and uh, bold, you know, net, they, are, they have the nati- native native affixes mean English affixes. <laughs> Sorry, uh, native affixes like um, sheep, dom, hood, nest, less, star, uh, then um, full, uh, ish, i s h is, and then uh, leash, less, l e double s less, l y l e y. Or uh, then at the same time you have the uh, you have that uh, what do you call it that means uh, uh, prefixes uh, uh, prefixes also 
that um, I mentioned in the, in the first first let me let me discuss this one so the sheep that means king sheep uh, boyhood uh, they mean boy plus hood you are attaching the boyhood uh, kind plus ness kindness uh, then um, you get the word like uh, ed uh, uh, cook plus ed cooked then uh, e uh, en you attach en then so black black in then full beauty plus full beautiful uh, boy plus ish boyish uh, l the mean kind uh, uh, less you are attaching less less and attach less this um, and then you can attach uh, less also with the words like um, uh, what the, what kind of example i gave it uh, um, mindless mind plus less mindless uh, so that's why the words uh, lee uh, flower that means uh, kingly then why flowery flower plus why flowery and then um, yeah, then some uh, handsome and handsome and some etc uh, similarly uh, the, you have that and uh, you have that um, um, prefixes like un uh, unlawful unbidden uh, uh, then 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 you find the word like n uh, we'll talk about later on okay now the point is that french uh, similarly french affixes i told you that one i discussed uh, age age e age uh, suffix like age double e m e n t e s q u e e s s then e, uh, the prefix like e n and demi d e m i suppose the age parentage employee employee plus double e employee meant develop plus meant development picture plus s picture s lion plus e double s lioness similarly n is the prefix n demi uh, n enlarge large enlarge then n uh, n uh, uh, n green e n g r w -E n n green demi demi god similarly latin affixes also are there uh, l as asian is uh, these are the these are the these are the uh, suffixes and prefixes are like pre pre pro post this are. remember this are. you can remember this remember uh, l means arrival then uh, the ash ash courageous then uh, gorgeous uh, then asian calculation education uh, whatever monetization uh, contamination the uh, then e w e s e chinese japanese uh, then uh, uh, then uh, i am saying pre t means the pre raphaelite uh, post post modern post mortem i uh, i given you an example uh, uh, the word from word you have to write in a word note post mortem uh, pro, uh, pro that means pro indian pro um, uh, pro indian and uh, these are the uh, these are the uh, latin latin uh, affixes and then greek greek has also uh, given and, uh, and has also we have borrowed uh, affixes uh, from greek language also and that i also mentioned uh, i think in in course of our discussion and uh, they are uh, prefixes like a a a a they mean atheist atheist plus atheist anti uh, anti and uh, then you know very well anti and, um, and then um, any any antibody you you know you have now listening the word like antibody and anti american uh, uh, then uh, then hyper hypersensitive uh, hyper um, then pseudo uh, pseudo uh, pseudo means uh, you know very well false uh, pseudonym uh, pseudo uh, classical literature uh, that means new any or new new classical literature then auto uh, automobile you know auto automobile uh, auto rickshaw this way the words in there automation and then ism is a ism is a prefix uh, suffix now ism suffix uh, marxism communism civilized i z e i s is also greek east marxist and then ite pre raphaelite pre is a c like the one pre is basic raphael is the name of the word name of the person raphael plus ite raphaelite and then you are attaching pre is basically latin so look at the point is that prefix latin raphael is the name of a person is a italian person a painter then it greek so is basically hybridism look at the latin prefix the word name of a person raphael and then you are attaching it is a suffix greek suffix so then ecal economical 
academic academical academic this is ek ekal these are also greek so look at the one is that there is a huge number of affixes have been uh, have been borrowed and also um, they are in english language it has its own native uh, affixes so in this way there is a huge number of suffixes and prefixes or affixes you can say that are attached to the words for the formation of the new words every time see international look at the words in a national nation then al you are attaching then inter you are attaching inter intra this sort of prefixes you are attaching so every time you are creating new words with the help of this one this is the basically a very prolific or in fertile area uh, you have to remember how to create how to generate new words um, uh, even uh, so suppose if, for example uh, re reserve reservation the moment you are attaching reservation that means you are getting the words suppose um, uh, anti dis establishmentarianism look at the point is that establish you know the word establish establish plus men establishment establishmentarian t a r i a n t t then a r i a n arian you are attaching then uh, ism establishmentarianism then you are again there are the prefixes anti dis anti dis establishmentarianism dis establishmentarianism anti dis establishmentarianism anti dis establishmentarianism so see how many uh, prefixes and suffixes have been attached to the word like only word establish so is a multiple suffixes and prefixes can be attached for the formation of the words so now 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 it's not uh, it's not necessary for you but i mentioned that uh, there are infixes infixes means you are splitting a word and you are entering you are basically inserting one uh, part it's like affixes or prefixes prefixes or suffixes uh, within that word and then you are creating new words this is that is not found in english language but basically in other language like tagalog is a language but you don't need to remember but uh, nowadays we sometimes say absolutely uh, absolute and then absolutely if you uh, abso then lutely you are splitting that one and you are uh, using the word blooming abso blooming lutely uh, abso blooming lutely this is actually you are you inserting blooming blooming within the word by splitting it uh, abso blue absolutely that means you are saying in bangla you can say sampurno rupe prosphotito abso blooming lutely bhabe Uh, now uh, this is the end of this uh, part, and then it's uh, one type of affixation. Now we talk about uh, compounding. Second type of one formation, the second kind of one formation is compounding. Compounding is basically remember. Uh, compounding basically remember that in Sanskrit is called samas. In Bangla it's also called samas, but samas. And um, compounding is a process of one formation where we find that the two or more words are attached. combine look at the point is that is a combination uh, the combination of the two or more words more pod parts of speech two or more parts of speech are attached and you are going to new words and compounding is basically very prolific very fertile in sanskrit or germanic languages is a, and in, in english use as well the, the same thing the because english is the language is a branched off from the from german So look at the one the pocket money. Every time you are creating new uh, new uh, compounding uh, compounds, and that means that the new word is called compound, and the process is called compounding. That means compounding is a process of word formation through which two or more words are combined for the formation of the new word. That's all. Table lamp. You see the table plus lamp. Then uh, you are using uh, like a computer laboratory. You are using science laboratory, school co building, college building, arts college, whatever you are using, creating new words. Then, then you find the words like IC coal. You say IC, IC is an adjective. IC is an adjective. Coal is an adjective. You are attaching both, and you are getting the word IC coal. Uh, this way, you can create new words. Uh, look at the point is that, for example, uh, by attaching verb plus uh, preposition, standby. Uh, stand. You keep, keep this thing set. Stand by. Stand by, and then uh, hang it on. Um, that means uh, look at the point is that um, on looker, uh, preposition plus noun. So uh, that way also you are, we are attaching different parts of speech for the formation of the new 
compounds like sun in law, see sun in law, preposition, verb, noun plus preposition plus noun. So, brother in law in the same way you can choose the words. And um, uh, uh, pocket money uh, from this one, you can TV program, nominal is called, a noun plus noun is a nominal compound is called, but it is not necessary for you. But you may be asked to, uh, to, to give an example, two or more examples, um, which uh, example of compound, compound words which is, compo which is produced out of the combination of the uh, two adjectives or one adjective, one noun in that way that may be asked. So in that case, you have to prep, uh, you have to uh, remember those words uh, from your uh, other other sources. So uh, and that's all. And then uh, uh, compounding as that one thing is that pre-compound and fixed compound. Actually, uh, fixed compound means uh, you cannot find, you cannot separate the words. The way they are fixed, they are basically. So an example is a daisy. Daisy, d a y apostrophe s i u i e i. Then you get the word daisy, D A I S Y. Daisy is the name of the name of the flower. Shudja Then uh, actually these are blends. And in free compound, you can see the separate table lamp. You can identify table and lamp. So bookshelf is also a kind of a book and shelf. There is a separate. So uh, bookshelf is also an example of compounding. Uh, compounding, that means it is a compound. Another, another point is that uh, that means uh, uh, it's called blend also. It's called blend. Put man two words. Suppose uh, look at the one uh, chart uh, branch breakfast plus lunch breakfast plus lunch. That means uh, there's a when you when you take the take take um, take kind of food which is basically which serves as a breakfast as also the lunch. That's called branch. Similarly, motel. You, these are the exam you have to prepare for your short questions also. Word note. Motor plus hotel, the hotel where motor car parking facility is available, that's called motel. And um, uh, these sort of words are basically uh, called uh, uh, smog, suppose example smog, uh, smoke plus fog, uh, dhuasha, uh, dhua plus kwasha, dhuasha, smog, smoke plus fog, smog. And uh, the third uh, form of uh, uh, for word formation is that. That means uh, you find as uh, you uh, parse of speech and formation of the new parse of speech without uh, without um, uh, affixation or compounding, but in a new uh, one kind of way. Why do you find they create new words by not attaching the and suffix of the by modifying the root? For example, mouth mouth is a noun. Uh, mouth uh, mouth is a verb. Then say mouth b r e a t h breath. Breath and then it becomes a bhava, breathe, b r e a t h e. So, you wreath, w r e a t h, wreath is a wreath, um, then read, uh, when you are in the bath, bathe, uh, then uh, foot, feet, man, plural, fee, uh, men. Uh, you are changing the uh, verb, uh, changing, the, changing, the, changing the vowel or changing the uh, suppose sing uh, song, song sing. You are using sing the noun. Sing is a verb. Song is a noun. Then you can create in the words. Uh, then uh, past tense forms of abide, abode, uh, similarly break, broke. Um, uh, then uh, you know those, know these words. Um, uh, catch, caught. This sort of uh, changes takes place uh, for the uh, for the generation of the past uh, part of past tense form. Mm, and uh, with, again, without changing the form, suppose face is a verb, face is a noun, and then face is a verb, face, face, do not change. So, this is also called zero affixation, you are attaching nothing, you are doing nothing, just uh, you are using the form, face, face. Similarly, it is called zero affixation, and it is also zero derivation, because you are changing the partial speech, face, noun, face, verb, is also an example of, what I am telling, zero derivation or zero affixation. So, zero affixation has the two things, zero affixation has the two, two uh, branches, one is zero derivation and zero inflection. So, in zero derivation, you are changing the partial speech, face, similarly, hand, hand is a noun, hand is a verb, hand over, so look at the, you are using the word. So, um, uh, this, are, this is the example of uh, zero derivation, similarly, zero Zero inflection, dr singular, 
they are plural you are attaching nothing sheep singular sheep plural put present tense put past tense these are example of zero inflection if you ask the question what is zero affixation then you have to write that that without attaching any uh, fixes you are creating uh, new words are created which is known as zero affixation so then if if the question says so that means give an example of zero plural then you have to give the example dr singular dr plural or sheep singular sheep plural these are sort the of examples you have to find out keep in mind when you are writing the answer you should be clear clearly you should clearly mention this dr singular plus zero plural then you get the word saman equal is equal to dr plural that way you write face noun plus zero verb verbal suffix then you get the face verb this sort of there are huge number of words there are so many words now it is now you will find the word whatsapp what is that whatsapp is basically the formation of the com like kind of kind of application words application whatsapp is an example of compounding also and you are also using it as a verb and then uh, third that means now we will discuss back formation is again very crucial back formation is very very important very very important topic back formation kotha i mean you remember the word back formation I means you are forming the word by going back normally from a verb you create generate new noun by attaching affixes suppose reserve plus ation conserve plus ation that means from verb to noun but if you in similarly uh, from noun to adjective but if you create if you think that this is an adjective which has been which can, from which you can generate a noun by 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 subtracting subtracting means by uh, deleting you can say subtract means bad diye byog kore by deleting the uh, that prefix or suffix you are thinking that basically normally common people think that this is a, this is a, there are suffixes or prefixes and they they think that they, they misunderstands is basically normally fine then they misunderstand that this is a suffix or prefix that should be that has been attached and for the formation of the new word so that's why they subtract it and they create the new words which is known as back formation very very important suppose i'm giving an example you are, you can understand beggar b e spelling b e g g a r normally common people think a ah, beggar that means is basically they think is a doer that means uh, e r has been attached they do not know the spelling that is a a r and they think that be be they say the word beggar has derived from beg so actually originally beggar was present in english language not beg and they generated beg from beggar so it is a from noun to verb so by subtracting a r which is supposed to be which which is thought that which is thought that which is thought that it is that which is that part as a basically as a uh, as a suffix ar basically a uh, so beggar similarly editor editor they think that e o r has been attached by with the attached with the edit with the verb edit and uh, this has been but actually originally is the editor is the editor is the original form and they have generated or english people have generated the word edit so very interesting is one similarly greedy greedy they generate greed by 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 they think that why is a as an adjective suffix suffix which has been attached with a greed but actually greedy was the word and english people have derived the word greed this again is an example of is an example of back formation similarly another very example enthusiasm and enthusiasm original word and they create enthus similarly type writer actually type plus writer compounding and the type writer is the name of the machine type writer machine and they create the word type write you you, oh, you may think that oh nasa 
is a type plus light than type writer. No, type writer originally it was type writer, machine's name, is called type writer, and then they created a verb type write. Self destruction is the word, and then they created the word self destruct. So this is a you are going back. So this is known as back formation. Another another process of word formation is clipping or shortening. This is again another part. That means you are you are English language is basically known as uh, known for its feature called um, uh, monosyllabism. So <clears throat> what happens? Um, they shorten the word. When the monosyllabic words is shortened into uh, um, uh, uh, sorry 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 multisyllabic words is shortened into monosyllabic words. Suppose in the uh, cabriolet become cab, uh, C A B cab, cab then bus, omnibus from omnibus to omnibus. There are three syllables, and they only use bus. So bus from omnibus, cab from cabriolet. Similarly, you say lab. Why are you? How have you gone? Is not instead of saying laboratory, they say you say lab. Similarly, nowadays you also use the word intro. introduction instead of introduction you are using intro these are called clipping clipped words so uh, lab uh, or you can say cab or bus there are so many ample number of examples uh, but uh, i am mentioning this one for the sake of the time limit then you see that um, uh, and onomatopoeic words that means from the sounds like buzz uh, click ting tinkle Or no, there's the third T H U D third is the name of the the sound created out of the falling of the wood. So uh, these are the basically remember this one. And then uh, there are there is there are another type of abbreviation of the words, Acr- acronym. Now in the by P P E, no very well, very well you know you you have got the word like P P E, like COVID nineteen, then AIDS, uh, who W H O who. Then there is an ample number of that means abbreviation through abbreviation you are creating new words like AIDS um, you can say uh, there are so many UNESCO uh, UNO uh, you don't uh, I don't need to remember on uh, remember uh, all these words you you can remember those words no problem now the, there is actually from the name so the person. There are so many examples are there. It's called anthroponymy. Anthroponymy is the process of word formation. Um, formation uh, where we find that means a, a proper name is used as a as a, as a word. That means you are creating words out of the proper name. There will be boycott from Captain Boycott, sandwich from Mr. Sandwich, what vault in uh, electric you know very well. This is Xerox from the machine. Can Xerox machine is not machine. Actually, Xerox is the name of a person who invented it. Similarly, um, you know very well. Uh, that means um, Boson, um, Boson theory. That means you know that you know, those people who are who are the students of science in uh, HS. You know the Boson. Similarly, um, uh, uh, similarly example is that um, uh, boycott. Boycott basically, you know, Captain Boycott um, from the name of the Captain Boycott. This word has been created. You remember, these are all word notes. Basically, this chapter, chapter, this section, this topic, you have to prepare for short notes. So, boycott, you have to prepare sandwich. You know very well, Earl of Sandwich, and that man was basically they used to play cards, uh, and they used to take some food, which is basically uh, easy for him to take uh, while playing cards. They do not. He he used to. Uh, he has habituated with this sort of food. That means uh, the two loaf, two pieces of loaf, and uh, in between that there are some uh, other components, which is called sandwich. So from that name is come up uh, the word like sandwich, then boycott. So you have to remember uh, these ones. Similarly, boycott is also used as a, as a, as a nowadays it is also used as a verb. By boycott noun plus zero plus zero as derivation, then you get the word boycott verb. Similarly, uh, sandwich also the same. Uh, what uh, Xerox? Xerox basically no. Now the toponymy. Toponymy means name of a word uh, from the from the place name like Guinea, New Guinea. Uh, you know the Kotok, Kotki uh, from Kotok, Baran Banarasi is the name of the sari. 
which is basically from Benaros. So um, uh, uh, there are there are several sample ex uh, several examples. So this is the this is the end of this topic uh, called uh, word formation, and I hope uh, you have uh, been able to understand some parts of it. Please listen to it carefully so that you can understand. At the same time, I request you to to subscribe the YouTube uh, when it will be uploaded in the form of YouTube also. And at the same time, uh, prepare some word notes on on uh, from this uh, topic uh, I have discussed. Uh, I told you that means post mortem. Uh, then uh, I told you that means um, uh, blend. Uh, you prepare the, the, the means chortle uh, branch mortel. Then daisy you have to prepare. And then uh, suppose woman, uh, women, women actually then wife plus men is also again is an example of uh, uh, fixed compound. And then you have to prepare what notes like for this uh, I mean say bus, omnibus, then uh, greed, uh, greedy. Then I told you the back formation. Um, so all these kinds of things. So uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, hope uh, it will help you a lot um, with this. Let me. Stop here.